Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. And for this video, we are going to do a full UK breakdown of music royalties. I will touch on like the US as well. But for the most part, this is going to be about the UK because whenever I would go and research I always found so much information on the US that it's really like it's different in the UK and there wasn't as much information especially on YouTube when it comes to the UK royalties so I figured I would just make a video on it now that I've figured it out for myself when it comes to royalties there are different copyrights and different parts of copyright that entitles you to specific types of royalties so there's the publisher writer share and then there's also the sound recording share and most record labels they own the sound recording share so when you hear people talk and I've talked about this before in my other video about owning your masters I'll link the video here as well for you but when I talk about owning your masters we're not talking about the writer publisher share we're talking about the, the master recording like the recorded version of your song is a master recording and that's what the record labels tend to own so when you look at Taylor Swift or somebody like that who has been in disputes about her masters the master track means the actual recording of her songs so when you hear her songs on streaming stores and things those versions of the song like that full recording is what the label owns that she's trying to get back so that's that half and then the other half is the publisher writer share which can be split between the publisher and the writers or it can be split in a million ways because obviously there tends to be a lot of writers especially on big artist tracks so the writer share is the other half of those royalties so it's kind of divided like a big pie it's completely divided into so many pieces depending on how many people contributed to a song and I can't remember what the rule is on like I think it's not a real legal rule but people do say about like even if somebody's in the room when you're songwriting they should get a piece of that pie like they should get a percentage or something on the songwriter and publisher share but I don't think it's actually a law so I guess it's kind of up to you but yeah I think it's really important before knowing which company to go with you need to know what royalties are and how they work so you have those different copyrights different types of ownership and even though the label may own the master recording it doesn't mean that they have any publishing or writer's share because that's down to the songwriters, the people that made the beat, you know, and a publishing company if you're signed to a publishing company. But if you're not, then you're your own publisher or maybe the record label's a publisher. It all just depends on the contracts and who you work with and those kind of things. But for me, because I write, record, produce, <laughs> as I said in my intro, because I write, record and produce my own music, I own the master recording and I also own the publisher and the writer share. So like I own a hundred percent of it because I do all of it. But if I was to work with a producer, which I have done in the past, um, I would split the writer share, the writer publisher share with them because they created the beat. So they would get that and then they may get a share of the master recording royalties too depending on what we agreed upon you know so it all just like I know it can sound extremely complicated and overwhelming but um it's really important to know because especially if you're doing this independently you are a business and you need to know how royalties work in order to get paid at the end of the day like it's an important thing to know so when it comes to companies this is where it gets a bit like the UK is completely different but from what I have come to understand I kind of prefer the UK version because it's just one company you don't have to worry about all of these other companies that do different things you can just go to one company and they do it all <laughs> or it's a few companies but it's combined into one company now they used to be separate but now they are one so PRS for music has combined um, MCPS I think it's called and PPL so PRS is the main company in the UK that collect royalties when your song is performed live when 
it is played uh, like broadcast or on radio, any of these kind of things where it's publicly played, they collect royalties for the writer and publisher share and PPL collect for the master recording version, they collect those royalties for that copyright. So they both collect for the same type of thing, but it's just different copyrights. So it's different types of royalties, different amounts. And MCPS also collect when your music is reproduced or copied. But MCPS and PRS have joined together now. So you can join both of them on the same website. It's the same place. And I also discovered, because I emailed, because I wasn't sure about streaming, I emailed about which... Um, company you need to join for the streams for the writer and publisher share and they said that it cov it's covered by PRS so if you join PRS then your streams your live performances and um, broadcasts and radio and all of those kind of things the writer and publisher share is covered through PRS so we literally just need to join one company for as writers this is not as um the master recording this is just as songwriters and publishers you only need to join prs that's it you know and then for the master recording this is where your distributor comes in so DistroKid, tunecore all of those kind of companies whichever one you use they will collect the royalties for just the master recording they don't collect for the songwriter publisher share so that's why you need to join those two. One, to get your songs on streaming stores and they'll collect you your master recording royalties. And then one also to cover you for the songwriter publisher share. And when I first um, started out, I didn't know how to collect the writer share because of the fact that online there's just so much information, mostly for the US, where you have to join several different companies for different things and you can even collect it through TuneCore if you pay a certain amount of money then they'll collect the songwriter share and I thought that I needed to do that because I didn't realise that PRS do it all. So you don't need to join any other company for it. If you're in the UK, all you need is PRS. You may want MCPS later on as like it gets bigger and stuff, your music blows up or whatever, then maybe you'll want that. But, and maybe you'll want PPL once you start performing live and stuff. But other than that, you just want PRS and you just want whichever distributor you are using. And it's really that simple. And I think PRS was a hundred pound to join. And if you wanted to join MCPS as well, it would be £100. But they already collect all of your streaming royalties, everything that's on radio, all of those kind of things that are already collecting for you. So it's only really when you perform live that you would then want to join PPL. And if your music was copied and um, reproduced, then you would want to join MCPS. And in the US, their version of PRS is ASCAP and BMI, and I think there's a few others. Like, you have so many different companies that do similar things or the same thing, whereas in the UK, we just have one company, which is PRS, and it has all of those little companies underneath it, so it's all a part of the same one. But in the US, you have all of these different options of different companies, which to me just feels confusing and stressful. But it doesn't have to be. Once you understand what each royalty is, then you'll know which companies you need to go to. So there's also American companies that the UK can join to. So things like, um, I wrote some down, Sound Exchange and Sound Reef. And I think they're becoming quite popular in the US, which is why I wanted to check them out and make sure that I didn't need them. But here in the UK, we don't need them. But in the US, um, sound exchange is for performance, just like PPL and PRS. And sound reef is when background music is played in shops. So you may want to join that, but your ASCAP or BMI or whatever already collect those royalties. So, and this is what I got from their website, they already collect those royalties. So in order for you to have sound reef to collect them, you would have to, I'm not sure if you have to fill out a form or email or something, but you have to let your... ASCAP, BMI, whichever one you're with, you have to let them know that you no longer want them to collect those royalties for you and that you want Soundreef to do it. So Soundreef literally has to get permission from another company. So 
I don't know, to me that kind of seems like pointless even switching, but maybe they do a better job. I don't have a clue. So obviously here in the UK, we don't need that. So I just thought I would add that to the end in case you're from the US and you wanted to know what those companies are. But yeah, I know royalties can be quite overwhelming, but it's just such an essential thing to know about. And I mean, Google, if you just Google it, you will have so much information. But I thought I would add for the UK that you literally just need your distributor, TuneCore, DistroKid, whichever one you're with, and then PRS. And you don't even need to join them straight away. As soon as you release music, then definitely join PRS. But the others, they can kind of wait for a while until you're performing or until it's on radio, those kind of things. You're not going to need it until then. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out the description box below for all links to my music, my phone number, my social media, my merch, my crystal healing jewellery brand and so, so much more will all be in the description box below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload three times a week and I will see you in the next video. Bye. You could say I love you I can't get enough Boy, I just want you to myself I don't need you when I fuck you Need you when you touch me I just want you to myself